welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. For today's recipe, what we are going to make is a Tex-Mex taco casserole. Very typical thing to make here. There's a few ingredients. They're very easy to swap out if your kids don't like a certain thing. Very easy to change and this recipe freezes very, very well. If you would like to see how I make this recipe, just keep watching. I like to make my chips homemade. I just think that you get a better crunch and they don't fall apart as fast as if you use the bag chips. But that's your choice. You do what you know what's easy for you or what your family likes. But this is what I do. I just fry them up and then after they're done, I throw them on a paper on a plate with some napkins, let them drain, sprinkle a little bit of salt on them, and they're delicious. Alright guys, we are going to start by browning our hamburger meat. Here I have one pound of hamburger meat. We're just going to break it up and let it brown. Okay, now that our meat is browned, we're going to add our onions and our bell pepper. You can use whatever color bell pepper you like. And we're going to give this a toss. We're going to add just a little tiny bit of salt and pepper because we're going to be adding in the seasoning pack here in a minute. So you don't want to overdo it on the salt. So we're going to add some pepper, fresh ground pepper. And just a little bit of salt. And we're going to cook these just for a couple of minutes. We don't want them overly cooked because they're going to bake for just a little while also in the onion. And you want to maintain the structure of the vegetable a little bit. It gives it a bigger and bolder taste in the casserole, I think. But if you don't like your onions, you know, a little crisp, cook them down. That's okay. That's up to you. Okay, I'm just going to let this cook down for a couple of minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, now that this is cooked down, we are going to add our seasoning pack. Now you can add whichever one you want. I am using the low sodium one. And this just needs to get incorporated. Just make sure it's all stirred in there well. And that's going to do it for us here on this step. I'm going to cut off the heat and we're going to let this cool down while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. It smells so good. Alrighty guys, I have everything set out here for you to see what's going in there. You don't have to set everything up like I do. I just do it so you can get a good look at what goes in there. We have our rice, our, this is canned beans. You can use fresh beans if you want. This is just day old Mexican rice that we have. And I have corn, some cheese, some black olives, some scallions, some broth and our chips. And we're going to move our meat over here and start mixing it. Now, I am going to cook my casserole in one of these disposable foil pans. You can use a regular casserole dish if you like. I like to do it in here when I make two or because they freeze real well. So all you have to do is saran wrap it and pop it in the freezer or foil it. Pop it in the freezer and you're good for the next time before the bake. So we're going to start with our meat. We're going to pour our meat in. And it's still not too cold, but I'm not really worried about it. If you have it at room temperature, probably best. We're going to start adding our ingredients. We have our corn. We have our beans. We have our olives. Now you can use green olives instead of these if you want, whatever you prefer. Or leave them out, whatever, whatever your family likes. You know what your family likes. Now we're going to put in our Rotel tomato. Now if you don't want it, this is mild. If you don't want any heat to it, just use a can of crushed tomato. Regular crushed petite diced tomato. No biggie. And we're going to measure, we're going to add a little bit of broth in here just so that it doesn't dry up. Okay, it's about a half of a can. Some people like to layer it, you know, they put their rice, the meat. I like to just dump it all in, it makes it easier. And you get a little bit of everything in every bite. So that's what I like about this. And then we're going to add in our rice. It starts to look a little bit of a mess, but believe me, the flavor is wonderful. Typical Tex-Mex food. And look at all those colors. Now, we're going to add half of this cheese. And I also like to add some of the quesadilla cheese in here. We're going to put some on top, so we're going to save the rest for the top. And that's it. There we go. You will get a little bit of everything in each bite. And how delicious is that? Okay, 
let's go ahead oops I forgot to add in the the liquid we're gonna add in some liquid and we do that so that it doesn't dry up but the, the food has a little bit of moisture in it not soupy just a little bit of moisture okay now we take our tray I did spray the tray and what I like to do is I get a little bit of the chips just a few at the bottom and then I just pour in my then I spoon the rest of this in here these are great for parties because you can just you know have a couple of them made and you don't have to pop them in the oven if you don't use them and if you do need them they bake up right away it takes about 30 minutes remember everything's already cooked you're just warming everything through you just level it out okay and then we sprinkle the rest of our cheese on top at this point I have the oven preheating to 350. It'll take about 35 minutes to warm everything through. Okay, then I take the rest of the chips and I just place them on top. And I like to make these because the crunch, oh it's so delicious. Real crunchy. Okay and then I add the rest of my cheese. If you want to add more cheddar on top you could it's up to you whatever your family likes then I just sprinkle some green onions on top and we're good look at how delicious that looks all right that's it all right guys I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I will be back after a while okay everybody the casserole is out of the oven I'm gonna try to bring you in for a close-up Look at there. I wish we had smell-o-vision. This thing smells delicious. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes before we cut into it and I will be back. Okay everybody, here's the serving. Smells delicious. Let's give it a try. Listen to that crunch on those chips. That's what I like about making my own chips. They just, they hold up to the any recipe really. And every bite has a little bit of everything. Mmm. 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 Very good. This is very good. You can taste the meat. You can taste the rice, the beans. You can taste each individual ingredient. It's not overpowered with just one ingredient. And you can change up the stuff, guys. If you don't want pinto beans, put black beans. If you don't want any beans, don't put any beans. You can also make this with ground turkey if that's, a, you know, an option for you. You can also put a little bit of sour cream on top, some cilantro. The, the options are endless, guys. Just use your imagination. But this is good just the way it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will leave the recipe down below. If you enjoyed it, don't forget, thumbs up and share with family and friends. Okay guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.